Hello and welcome to my series, Getting Good. In these videos, I will be documenting my progress as a PVMer, going from rather inexperienced to hopefully Inferno. I will be taking on just about every single boss there is in old school RuneScape. And to decide what boss I take on in each video, I spin a wheel. The bosses on the wheel will get progressively harder over time. Hopefully, even the early bosses will teach me a little bit about PVMing. I do hope you enjoy watching my progression over time. Cut, cut this, cut, cut this, somebody cut this. All right, let's get Cow Fight Queen started. I'm going to be going for the Varrock combat task on the first try. Uh, just to get it over with. Uh, of course, I still have to get 18, 17 more kills after that. But if we take a look here, technically, you don't have to be wearing the full set to get this combat achievement done. It is just asking for the Varox Flail to be the only weapon. Uh, so technically, you can like cheese it with Thralls but uh, I'm not interested in doing that. In any case, uh, I will also be trying to get the Vengeance spell as my finishing blow on this one. Might as well get it out of the way because for me to do it, I do have to pot up. So I would like to just at least have that extra inventory space. As far as what else I'm bringing, Super Combat. Bringing Sarah Brews just because I'm not completely sure what my DPS is going to look like so I could use more sustainability here. Just in case, uh, couldn't hurt. And so, Sarah Bruise and then the Restore to go with that. Super Anti Poison, Drum and Stuff to get there. It's Fairy Code, Big Ass Insect. Uh, no. BIQ, it's Big Insect Queen. There we go. So, let's hope I can get two of these knocked out on this first kill, and then I'll just be getting that Cow Fight Queen veteran after that. I think, as far as prayers go, you just pray mage the whole time it's fine no matter what you're just gonna get completely shit on so all right i might as well just use my anti poison now go ahead and get a rope ready i've already oh so i don't need any ropes okay well you know fucking clean am i right so by this point it it's been like a five hour kill it feels like at least uh i've just been flinching the whole time for the most part on phase one i i just attacked the head on for a little bit but went through a lot of my food i mean i still have a decent amount of food left here but i don't know i just kept on flinching so Right now, I am trying to get a Venge kill at the same time, so I kind of got lucky on that. And this Venge here, I'll step out and not pray, and that should be the kill shot. Wait, there's no way. It doesn't... If you Venge, it doesn't trigger? What a waste of my time. That's good to know for other people. I mean, is vengeance really a weapon? Prayer smasher down. So all we got left is 16 more kills for 50 kill count, and I am done with the combat achievements so we skip ahead quite a few kills this is going into my 50th kill nothing really happened in between just normal 
average to below average calphite queen drops. So um, this is my normal setup, um, not on task. So you see on the left side, we have our switch. Um, right now I am wielding a Bandos God Sword, so I will dump specs twice. So after I dump the specs, we go into the Karis Partisan and Dragon Defender. Melee the first phase. When that is over, um, we just switch to the range gear. So pretty simple. Um, I had already uh, drank a stamina potion, so don't worry about run regain and the anti-poison uh, anti in the bank. Um, as far as the cape too, it's a mythical cape, whatever. Yeah, it's a, the difference between that and a fire cape is pretty minimal and I wasn't getting an extra, like, uh, I wasn't getting any extra damage with the fire cape. So I'm using this for the crush, um, attack bonus. So normal Calphite Queen kill going on. Yeah, not the most uh, engaging boss. You're just kind of uh, trying to out DPS it. Um, it's easier on Slayer task, but I did not get a Slayer task for this one. Kind of regret that a little bit, but this is my last kill, so no harm, no foul, I suppose. Uh, I was also just getting mad about... Um, how much damage I was getting in the second phase, just praying mage. It felt like the range attacks were hitting me harder, but I don't think that's actually necessarily what you're supposed to feel. So I started praying range in phase two, but we're not quite there yet. I got this a little bit trapped, so I can just flinch it a little bit. Honestly, my my food situation isn't bad, but phase one food isn't anywhere near. You shouldn't be eating as much on phase one, I guess. And okay, then you step under and you switch. Don't step out to attack, otherwise you are going to lose an attack to the Calphite Queen. The Calphite Queen can hit you first, so if you are underneath it and attack, then... You hit at the same time. And slapping. Combo eat. Um, you can also tag the Calphite Queen. Uh, maybe recommended if you're trying to step under. Um, but I have a general idea of how big the Calphite Queen is. The answer is the Calphite Queen is big. Trapped a little bit there. We are having a little bit of trouble with food here. But if I was on task, I mean, I it's pretty rare to have that much of a problem with food. Alrighty. The Calphite Queen is dead, and that is 50 kill count. We are a Calphite Queen veteran. Pretty sick. All right, quick check on the combat achievements just to show we are completely done. That is another boss that is completed 100%. We are getting closer to the hard tier of combat achievements completed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind the Calphite Queen that much, but the improvement in quality of life will be a lot once you get the Desert Elites done. And just take that shortcut. I'll come back eventually once that's done for tasks on occasion, but other than that, you will not see me at the Calphite Queen very often. We are done with the Calphite Queen, so let's take a spin. I'm guessing Obor, but let's find out. We got tier F here, it's 50 50, tier skip into tier D, or stay in with the Chaos Fanatic 
or Obor. Let's give it a spin. Honestly, thank God. It's about to be the weekend, a long weekend in the U.S., not to break the fourth wall, but I don't know when this is coming out, but it, it's MLK weekend. And I don't think Chaos Fanatic would be super fun um, on the weekend. So, got tier D set up. We have Grotesque Guardians, King Black Dragon, Dagoneth King, Seracnus, and Demonic Gorillas, along with Scorpia. So we'll be coming back with the King Black Dragon, a classic. Appreciate you watching if you did. If you didn't, that's impossible. You can't be hearing me right now. Well, I guess you could have skipped to the end, but why? Well, either way, if you want to, like and subscribe. If you don't, don't. We will be back with some King Black Dragon. Hopefully just one. Well, hopefully just ten. That'll make more sense if you watch the video.